What's going on guys, John with the Pro Cut, and I'm here to show you the things that everybody else is not showing you about the Avada 2. Um, in case you watched my other videos or the live stream from the truck with the unboxing, the one thing that I missed was the lanyard for the motion controller. So now I've got that out of the truck and I put that on, so now you can have that lanyard on. And if for some reason you drop your remote, if you get bumped or startled, something, whatever, uh, it's not going to land and hit the ground because one guy dropped his and broke off the little uh, joystick there. You can see how the joystick sticks up from there and uh, it landed on the asphalt and he broke that. That was uh, original Dobo. So shout out to him. Uh, I checked out his video. So the one thing people aren't mentioning is uh, how to go about registering the drone with DJI and everything and it being over 249 grams you also have to register with the FAA so these are the things that I'm going to get into and we're going to stumble through this together because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing so right inside the box you got your scan QR code before first use to install the DJI fly app so all right so you scan that and it's going to bring you in Okay, it, it brings you to an unboxing video with the DJI Fly, yada yada. So, don't need that, I don't think. All right, so let's get one of these batteries. And just like all my stuff, I've used a Sharpie to mark my batteries one, two, and three because uh, I try to do proper cycles on my batteries because you don't want to use one and keep on using it over and over and over. Now we probably need to power that up so the Fly app can pick up what's going on. So let me get to the Fly app right here. So you open up your DJI Fly or you know if you don't have that you need to download it. So let's go ahead and short touch, long touch, power up the drone. Now as that's powering up it should connect with this because I've logged on to the uh, DJI website and it's it's not there where you have to sign up your drone so it's got to be on here okay and mine's still showing for my Air 2S that's not the one I want so let's kick click connection guide I see Avada I do not see Avada 2 so we'll just open Avada see what happens clearly this is not going to work because it's not even showing any of the new stuff. We could try from a, uh, so I'm guessing then it's gonna be through the goggles that we have to do this stuff. So flip up the antennas so you can get to the power button, short press, long press. Okay, that's not the power button. The power button's down below. Short press, long press. Okay, so they're coming on. Let's go ahead and pull the protective stickers off of these lenses in here all right they're off all right so then we'll put these on bear with me all right so now i'm seeing this stuff let's uh the right side is supposed to be the first thing you're going to want to do is adjust adjust this so you can actually see which i can't see anything or it's blurry as hell with my right eye all right it looks like a negative 100 on the left eye and negative 150 on the, the right eye looks about right. Okay, now let me get this motion controller. We'll short click, long click, turn on the motion controller. All right, now it's showing you up here, you've got your thing so you can go ahead and move that to English or whatever language you need. Next, okay, you wear the headband. That's, that's just showing you how to just the headband and everything and that's pretty self-explanatory you know you're just going to get it to where it fits comfortably all right next adjust the eye things well i've already done that next close the right eye rotate rotate to get a clear view and then close the left eye to get a clear view all right next real view on the goggles okay so this feature allows you to see real time. Tap on the right side of your goggles twice with your fingertip. Skip real view tutorial. Okay, let's, uh, there it goes. Very minimal lag, if any. 
Okay, and then to exit the real view by tapping on the right side twice again. All right, now we're into the shortcut menu. So push your 5D button down to enter shortcut menu. Okay, so down is going to be back towards your head is down. Okay, and then from there you can go into enhanced display, head tracking, share line view to mobile device via Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can click into here and you're able to share your view from your goggles with a mobile phone or an iPad or something uh, via Wi-Fi. And then the next one over is brightness and then your record. Let's see what they do. Functions and tutorial demonstration only. Yeah. Okay. So then you press your back button forward and enter the settings. You can set up your aspect ratio, your ISO. Not 100% sure what WB is. I tell you, there is just, there's not a perfect setting for my right eye. My left is crystal clear. Okay. If I hold, that's weird. If I hold my eye open really far, then it's then it's crystal clear at negative 100. All right, aspect ratio is set up at 4.3. Okay, and then just these are just tutorials, so you can't really do anything in this. Okay, back again, and then push the 5D button to the right to enter the menu. So here you've got status, album, transmission, and settings back. Tutorial complete, okay. And then goggles and aircraft not activated, function limited, connect goggles to a mobile phone and activate device in DJI Fly. Okay, so you need to connect the goggles to a phone via the cord. All right, let's uh, give that a try then. Let's see, uh, find that cord. Go into our bag of goodies here. Let's see what the okay. Here's here's the problem. <laughs> they don't give you a dang cord, so I'm gonna have to pause this video and run out to my truck and get my iPhone cord, and we'll go from there. Hold on. All right, now I'm back. I've got my iPhone cord. We'll see if it works, easy or not. Okay, so we plug. Oh, now I accidentally hit something on here. So let me look in here real quick. All right, that, that didn't change anything. Okay, so here's the iPhone cord. Plug it in. Okay, there we go. Ha! Ah! Device not supported. Check user's manual and download proper app version. So I wonder if there is a... Uh, let me unplug this real quick. See if there's an update for this Fly app. Profile, settings, check for firmware updates. Connect to a device to update. Okay, so that's not going to work. All right, so let's start over from where we went to with this uh, QR code into the DJI app. Okay, and then DJI Fly, your versatile flight. Okay, so we're going to get that. So click Get, and then that'll dump you into the App Store. Continue. Okay, so apparently there's just an update for mine. So we'll go ahead and update. That'll take a minute. And, uh, so 43 minutes and 22 seconds it's going to take to freaking download this update. That's insanity. Uh, so while we wait for that, I guess we're going to go to the FAA website and uh, register this drone with them. I don't touch you. These, these stickers crack me up. Don't put, don't put your finger in the propeller if it's spinning. <laughs> Got to continually protect stupid people. Now we can open up the FAA Drone Zone dash access dot FAA dot GOV. Then that brings you to your startup page and you can put in your, and let me show you that. So right there you go. It's a, uh, and then you put in your email address and your password if you already have that. Uh, if not, then you go ahead and <clears throat> create a new account if you don't already have one. Okay, so I'll go in here and get my password. 
and log in <clears throat> privacy statement yada yada sure I agree <clears throat> drone owners and pilots now this is important guys these drones have to be registered if you fly them or they can and will come after you I, th I think this is what is has squashed the hobby a little bit but hey so launch the <clears throat> Dashboard, recreational flight, manage inventory. Okay, so I want to add a device. Does it have remote ID? Yeah, I guess it's got standard. Manufacturer, DJI. Oh, I'm just going to put no for the remote ID. It has it, but whatever. Traditional. I don't think it's traditional though. Because it's home built or traditional are your only two choices. Add device. Device has been added to your inventory. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, so they didn't need the serial number or anything. You just add it to your inventory and you're good to go as a recreational flyer. Uh, it may be different for Part 107's license holders. That I'm not sure because I haven't done that yet. Um, I was hoping to have already had that this year, but this year's been a little hectic, so. At some point this year, I do plan on getting my part 107 though. Okay, so now they're all active. So you'll put your same tail numbers on this drone as all your other drones. You only get a, from what I've seen, you only get one set of tail numbers for your all your drones in your fleet or inventory, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so yeah i guess that's all you need to do let's see account type okay see there's the 107 you could set that up but i'm just a recreational flyer so so like i said yeah you just add your tail number which i think i already have it in here so you could you could handwrite it with a sharpie you could print it out with the label maker that's that's what i do label maker and then just uh stick it on there so that's it so i'm gonna add my tail number to the side of this thing and then once this fly app updates i'll be back show you the next step all right now this thing is updated so now let's go ahead and plug the goggles in okay now when you when you plug them in it opens up avada 2 and then it goes to activate so I've got the RC controller on the motion controller rather the Avada is on the goggles are on so we click activate now it's activating the device uh, I got mine from Best Buy so I am going to be <clears throat> uh, getting the DJI refresh care from DJI uh, refresh care yeah I want that you get two replacements free two-way shipping, water damage coverage, flyaway coverage, which is bind activation code, and it says more. One year's 59 bucks, and I think two year is 99. And the option for, for two year, shop now. Submit, fill in personal information. All right, how about that? Phone number, and they want lots of stuff. Done with that. Submit. Address is already in there. I need to edit. They've got my old phone number in here though, so I need to edit that. Come on. Backspace. Guess I gotta put my own little uh there's no option for the freaking dash mark. Done. Save. There we go. No shipping required. And that once payment information. We'll do credit card no offense guys but i'm gonna shut you all off while i put my credit card information in be right back all right so the credit card information's in and i've had a tiny bit of dji credit <clears throat> for when i bought the dji refresh on my original mavic mini so i applied that um, a whopping 39 cents but hey with biden economics every little penny counts so we got to save wherever we can save, right? So that's all there. And then uh, place the order. 
I wanted two year, but it wasn't giving me the option. It was only giving me the option for one year, so, eh, good enough. If I'm going to crash it and break it, it'll be within the first year anyway, I suppose, right? Now I'm just waiting on that to finish up. Payment completed. So I would imagine, let me bring this back up here. Now I should have a log out of the drone zone here. Get rid of that. Yeah, continue. No, I don't need that. Okay, now. So my order should show up in my DJI account. Okay, so here's the refresh care. Okay, so details. I guess I can't uh, bind it yet because I don't have an activation code yet. Let me see if they've sent me an email. No activation code, so I can't bind that yet. So, all right, I'll skip that for now. So we're all activated. I just downloaded new firmware and now it wants to put new firmware again. I think it's going to uh, update some firmware on some of this hardware. So we'll do it. Let's uh, download. This is going to take forever. I'm going to, uh, this is not super comfortable to uh, leave setting on your head. It's just showing me, oh, it's showing me the, uh, the picture from the drone. Oh, that's freaking cool. All right. Let's, uh. This is doing its thing here. It's going to take a while. So I'm going to uh, drop these back on. And I've got the uh, my right eye working now. I had to push these closer back in. And I also figured out that you could slide the lenses left and right as well. So I've got it spot on now. Slide this one in just a hair. So yeah, I've got them uh, working really good right now. And then let me pass through mode, okay. Then you tap it again. And so now I'm looking through the drone itself. Pass through mode again. And set this down now. So when you have this remote here, this motion controller, you can see a little line on your screen with a circle. So I'm guessing once I get up and flying that you can zoom right from there maybe all right so you could just use that to click the different and aspect ugh, aspect ratio you've got your choice between 16 9 or 4 3 I think some of the people were saying that they they go 4 3 because they can edit and post better afterwards I'm just gonna leave mine in 16 9 right now I'm not sure what WB stands for that's set to auto EV set to zero, shutter speed set to auto, ISO set to auto, mode set to auto. Then you could choose picture or video, status, remote ID functionality normal, album, of course I've got no album yet, transmission, audience. Yeah, so I, you can go on and, uh, <clears throat> so, like I said some earlier, somebody can connect to Wi-Fi, but you've got to turn broadcasting on, focus mode, channel mode. So focus mode is off uh, for the default, channel mode is on auto for the default, broadcasting is off for the default, and then settings, Safety, max flight altitude. Ay, ay, ay. This is set up in freaking metric right now. I needed to figure out how to uh, get this set up for Imperial Control. Motion controller units. There we go. Imperial. Gimbal pitch speed, normal motion controller. Okay, I want to go back. How do I go back? Gain tuning, RC calibration. I don't know how to get back out of here with the remote, so let me try it. Okay, I'll use the back button on the uh, headset. Turtle mode, not required. Goggles, tutorial. Okay, let me go back. Now that I have safety, yeah, okay, there we go. So now it's set to feet. So max altitude, 394 feet, because we've got a 400 foot ceiling, and then let me make my return to home altitude higher. 
90's not enough around here. We got a lot of trees. Display, what do we got here? Real view, 3D. I wonder what that does as I sit here with my damn mouth open. All right, now let's see if I can go into, there it is. Oh, that's really weird. The pass-through mode being in 3D is weird. Holy crap, that looks awkward. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, let's change that back. Whoo, camera. Or no, that was on display. Display, real view. 2D, please. Display scaling, 100%. Yeah, I mean, why would you... Why would you not have it at 100%? Standard brightness was set at 4. I think that's pretty good. 3 is starting to look a little dim. 5 and 6 is brighter, but I don't think it's necessary. So I would leave it at 4. And there's a goggles defog, which I'm guessing is going to be some sort of fan. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's a fan. Cut that back off. About. Okay, so you can, man, you don't need to read. I was struggling with those little stickers, but you can get your, all your serial numbers right in here. And then it tells you how many cycle counts for your battery and everything. And that's in the settings in the about. All right, let's see how this update is doing. 23%, not good. So what are these things? Oh, so these aren't lens covers for in there. They're corrective lenses for people that have need to wear eyeglasses. Corrective lenses, a uh, 200 minus 2.0D, it says. I don't know anything about corrective lenses. I don't, uh, I don't wear them. So we'll just stick these in the uh, I don't need pile. So I won't keep these in the bag. I'll just keep these in the box because I won't need them. Uh, also, this cord, that's a USB-C to USB-A. I don't see a reason to ever need that cord, so that can go in there. The stickers can stay with, this, with the box instead of in the bag. But once I get a hard case, I'll probably put them stickers on the hard case. Uh, just have to wait for the hard cases to come out. Bit of advice when you're updating firmware with the DJI Fly app, don't close out of the app to answer a text <laughs> because you're going to have to start over. All right, the updates are done. So I'm going to attempt to uh, take off. We'll see what happens. Not 100% sure what I'm doing. Okay, so this is just the output from the goggles. Okay, so that adjusts the gimbal, which is fine. How the hell do I take off? All right, I guess I got to put the goggles on so I can see if I can figure this out. All right, make sure surroundings are safe. Press the lock button twice to start. motor starting press and hold the lock button to take off but I really don't want to I don't want to do that with the goggles on because I want to freaking be able to see what the hell I'm doing alright let's land this joker <laughs> oh Lord mighty. Inside is not the place for your first flight. But now I have a little bit better idea what to do. If this rain stops, I'll go try to have a little fun. So hopefully this video helps you guys uh, set everything up. So again, you've got to have the current firmware update for your DJI Fly app. Then you're going to update all this stuff. Register your drone with the FAA on Drone Zone. 
have everything charged, and then you're ready to go fly. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, share it with your friends, and uh, get this information out there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.